This is the TV Boy, or to be more precise, it's the TV Boy 2. And it was sold under the system of brand in the United Kingdom in the early to mid 90s. And it's actually um, an Atari 2600 clone. Or to be more precise, it's an unlicensed Atari 2600 clone. Because it actually contains 127 games, yet all the ROMs have been hacked to remove any copyright messages. So it looks like quite a sort of cheap, generic thing. Um, very, very simple on the front. We've got the logo, we've got our D pad. We've got a select, start and reset button and a power LED and then we've got our fire or action button if you prefer. On the top we've got our RF out, although I believe some models did offer a, a multi out with composite. A power switch and a power socket which will take 6 volts DC I think. And on the back really nothing exciting. Um, battery compartment and I've shoved some pound shop batteries in there as well so yeah a very very basic thing it's an Atari 2600 clone but the ROMs like I said have been hacked so any copyright messages relating to the original games has been removed the interesting thing about that is these were these were sold in mainstream shops I mean these were sold by Argos and yet it was an unlicensed clone I just found that really really weird um maybe in the in the mid 90s retro gaming well obviously it wasn't as big as it is now but um yeah maybe there was less litigation going on around this sort of thing i don't know they seem to get away with it anyway i mean there were there were variations of this console made before and after this one as well so so it looks like they got away with it for a long time yeah okay what i'm going to do is we're going to hook this up to a video capture and we'll play some games and we'll have a look at exactly how it performs. Okay, so I'm hooked up to the video capture. Just please excuse the quality of it. it um, I am video capturing from RF and the setup I'm using to do that is ridiculous. So it's going to look a little fuzzy, but I've done my best with it. So let's take a look at the uh, functionality of the system. So straight away we're greeted with this very basic menu. And I can click up or down to select a game number. Uh, the game number would correspond to the instruction manual, which I don't have, but I've downloaded a copy, so that's fine. We can we can find our way around. And there's some really, really annoying music in the background. That's just driving me crackers, so let's pick a game. So, uh, like I said, I'm expecting to find Atari 2600 ROMs, but they've been hacked to remove all the copyright notices. But apart from that, they should, they should look and play the same. Uh, it's unlikely I'm going to get through all the games on it. But let's just start at the beginning and just see how many we fancy doing. So, so number one was Desert Strike or um, Chopper Command by Activision before it was hacked. So let's select that. And, and I think I've got a frozen screen until I select Start. And yeah, we're off. And yeah. Well, he's fine. In fact, I've got to say, oh, I'm not very good at it, obviously, but the controls feel really good. It's just nicely spaced. It feels like I've got a proper little controller in my hands, which I suppose I have, really. But now it feels really ergonomic, actually. I'm quite surprised. I thought it would feel a lot tackier than this, but actually feels really good to play. The game itself is very responsive. Although I can't imagine it takes a fantastic amount of processing power to run these games. But I'm terrible at it, so yeah. Let's try game number two, which should be River Raid. Okay, game number two, what have you got for me? Oh yeah, well it's quite clearly River Raid. So again, press start. And we're off. Great game, this.
and it plays just absolutely fine. Again, my playing of it might leave a little to be desired, but that's okay. I'm evaluating. That's my excuse for, um, for being bad. But when, I'm, ugh, when I'm done reviewing, I'll be coming back to this game. I do enjoy it. Okay, that's enough of that one. Let's try another one. We'll try game number three, Pac-Mania, which is clearly Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. It's limited Pac-Man, as it was on the 2600. Not the best port, but I do enjoy playing it. Again, plays fine. Don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, okay. This is rubbish. I'm not just saying that because I keep dying. Oh, here's one. So, number 25 is something called Mad Kong. I'll let you decide what you think this is. Yeah. Number 67. Car Race, it's called, but it should be Grand Prix by Activision. Not the one I was thinking of. But as you can see, all the copyright notices have been removed from these games. It'll play very well. Sorry, my phone went. That, that distracted me then. That's my excuse. This is one of those retro systems that you could just spend hours with going through all the games. I'm really enjoying myself. So 91 should be a game called Protection. Although apparently, no, it's just Defender. Whoa. Am I, am I playing this wrong or is it crashing on me? This is a bit jerky. Eh, it's probably my bad play, it's probably not wrong with it. My rocket seems to keep disappearing. Did the original version do that? I don't know. This doesn't seem to play quite as well as the others, but... Maybe that's the way it's meant to be, I don't know. Let's move on. So, 109 should be Sky Destroyer, which I'm told is Missile Command.
And so it is. It's a classic. Number 126, Hamburger, which should be fast food. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with this game. Can we just catch everything? The score's going up. I'll assume so. Um, did I win? Lose? I, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Number seventy-seven is a game called Robot Strike, which is a rip rom of. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Seems to play okay. Um... Ah, that must be one of the robots I've got to strike. Yeah. Wait. I'm playing this through the TV as well because the video capture has like a two second delay in it. And it would be unplayable. And every now and then it just flickers. And it could be to do with my setup. Or it could be uh, it could be the unit itself, I don't know. To, to get the video capture to work on RF, I'm, I'm using a pretty ridiculous setup. Um, I've actually got it going through... Um, a VHS video recorder just to attenuate the signal a little bit. So anyway, I can get it to give, um, give a steady output into the video capture card. But so that could be my problem. But then the unit could be, could be on its way as well. It's getting old. I'm not a fan of this game. In fact, that's boring. Right, um, one more and then I'll call it quits. Let's try number 21. Pinball. Or video pinball by Atari. Don't think, don't think I've ever played this, so. There is an Atari logo there, so they didn't edit out all the references. If you look in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this game. Okay, I think I'll call it that. I think you get an idea of... Um, what this console's like to play. Um, there's, there's, there's tons of games on it. Absolutely tons. This is something I could see myself spending an awful long time with. Uh, in fact, I just might. Once I get some free time. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. That was a little look at the games. Um, I hope you get the general idea of what this is all about. But what surprised me is it looks like a really cheapy, tacky thing. And I suppose it is. Because I think I think they, they retail at about 30 quid when they were new. But it plays really well. Um, apart from that game number 91, which I've since Googled, and apparently that is actually a known broken ROM on these. So, yeah, that'll be why. Yeah, I I picked this up second-hand. I paid £18 for it. I think I've got my money's worth. I think if you see them floating around for that price, 
they're definitely worth picking up. I certainly wouldn't pay a lot of money for it, but um, but for that price, yeah, it's good. It plays well. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of games on it. I think you could you could have many many fun evenings in with this. So um, so yeah, I hope you found that interesting. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.